if um, I was going to evaluate this, again, we don't have the triangles. We just have u and v. But again, guys, um, you know, if we look at this, remember, typically you guys are used to the unit circle, right? But again, we don't recognize 4 fifths as, a, as the y coordinate on the unit circle. So therefore, we know we go back to our basics. Remember, like, remember the unit circle is created off of right triangles, right? So can we, is this enough information for us to create a right triangle? Yes. Yes, right? But again, we have a constraint. So that tells us the orientation matters. So not only is sine po a positive value, but cosine is a negative value, right? The cosine of that angle, or I'm sorry, of u, sorry, I should use the same verbal there, is negative. So which quadrant is cosine positive, but I'm sorry, is sine positive, but cosine is negative? One, two, three, or four. Sine is positive only in the first and the second quadrant. So first quadrant, everything's positive, so it has to be the second quadrant. So triangle looks like this. We have 4 over 5, v, and we could put a 3 there. Yeah? No? Guys, you're going to the left. Is that a positive 3? It's a negative 3. Right? That's why we spent a whole day on that lesson. To show you guys, yeah, if orientation matters. That's not a negative. That's not a positive 3. It's a negative. You're going to the left. This is an x, y axis. Right? Positive and negative matters. Now let's do, sorry, that's u, isn't it? Now let's do v. Tangents, opposite over adjacent. So tangent is positive in the first and the third quadrants. Secant, well now we know secant is 1 over cosine. Cosine is positive, anything to the right of the y-axis, right? So if it's right to the y-axis and tangent has to be positive, then you could recognize it has to be in the first quadrant, right? Because third quadrant is not to the right of the y-axis. So then v looks something like this. Those are both right triangles. So we have opposite over adjacent. Can we do the Pythagorean theorem really easy? Not sure it'll work. 3 squared plus 1 squared is 10. So then it's all for that square root of 10. So remember, guys, the sine of u minus v is just the sine of u times the cosine of v plus the cosine of v times the sine of u. Well, can I figure out all this information now? Sine of u, that's 4 fifths. Put in parentheses so you remember. Cosine of v is going to be 3 over square root of 10. Plus, I'm sorry, cosine of u. Cosine of u is a negative 3 fifths. Sine of v is a 1 over square root of 10. You could factor out terms, but let's multiply in this case. Here I have a 12 over 5 square root of 10. And then this is going to turn to a negative, minus 3 over 5 square root of 10. Well, they have common denominators, don't they? Yes? I made a mistake, didn't I? Yeah, where did I make a mistake? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm doing the subtraction. So that's a plus. There you go. Because I needed that that's going to be 15 over 5 square root of 10. 15 over 5 gets reduced to 3 over the square root of 10. And then I can just rationalize the denominator, which we've already done multiple times, to give my final answer of 3 square root of 10 over 10. Voila. Yes, question. How about if I kind of mention the square root of 10 sometimes? 3 squared plus 1 squared equals 10 squared. Well, tangent is opposite over adjacent. This is a different angle. This is v, that's u. u is over here, v is over here. They're different re restrictions. That's v and that's u, different angles. That's like. And how do you assume that the um, opposite is like 1? Because tangent is opposite over adjacent. Tangent of any angle is opposite over adjacent. So 1 has to be the opposite side, and 3 has to be the adjacent side. I know, but like, you have 3 different heights, and you just you said find, like, how did you know that it would be 1 then? Because um, this is given to you. Look at the problem. I'm giving you that information. Oh, so you have to use both formulas? Yes. And this is it, yeah. Yeah, because remember, you're adding two angles, right? If I said sine of u plus sine of u plus u, then you just use 1u. Right, but you're using, we're adding two angles.